Oh my god, this is a beauty. It's just driving me crazy. Look at the way it accelerates. Like it's just speaking to you. At your service, Madam Sir. So how did I get to this point when I'm not even driving a supercar? It was time to peek inside the engine and figure out. When we went inside the engine, we were introduced to this very important friend and foe, the fiction. And that reminded me of my carom days. I hit the striker, it goes a particular distance and eventually stops because the friction caused by the board opposes its motion. Similarly, in an engine, all moving parts are opposed by friction. But how about acting a little smart and playing on a current board spilled with powder? Well, so that was a light bulb for automobile engineers. Just how powder helps carry men, Shell Helix helps your engine and makes your car feel like a supercar. But have you ever thought what Shell Helix does inside your car? Well, there's different analogies that uh, we can kind of tell you along the way, but in the end of the day, the lubricant ensures the smooth operation of the car itself. Um, now, what ends up happening is, you know, you take uh, fuels uh, and uh, you take some, uh, some of the poor quality fuels. There's always dust particulates and there's kind of uh, things that are in, in the fuel itself, and they can kind of make a sludge in, in terms of the, in, in the engine of the car. So the lubricant is there to ensure that all of this is clean, um, and so if, this, if the sludge kind of builds up along the way, then the power and the efficiency of the car drops down quite significantly because it just takes that much more effort or that much more fuel uh, to get the same level of performance out of the car itself. As the piston moves up and down, it's not really a smooth journey because the friction devil comes in here to make its life difficult. And not just that, the carbon particles from the burnt fuel tend to stick together, hence forming sludge. Well, this is how it looks like. I know, it doesn't look very good, but sludge buildup poses one of the biggest threats to the engine and reduces its overall efficiency. Shell Helix contains active cleansing agents, which actually does not let these carbon particles stick together and hence provides a very smooth and responsive drive. Active cleansing has been A, not allowing sludge to happen and B, whatever sludge and deposit is there, it cleans the deposits and it keeps the sludge in suspension. Yeah, so the sludge doesn't get deposited on the engine surface, and so it reduces vibration and noise that you uh, uh, get in a car without a, a helix ultra. Active cleansing agent sounds like some science lingo. So we decided to get our hands on the cool equipment to figure out what shell helix is actually doing inside our engine. This is a cool endoscopy equipment which has an optical fiber with camera and light mounted onto it. Well, the lubricant doctor uses this to understand the state of the engine. The optical fiber goes through the spark plug of a petrol and injector inlets of a diesel engine and shows on the screen outside the interiors of the engine. It also lets you take pictures. This one has already begun to corrode with traces of sludge buildup. The engine looks clean and is shining too. Well, it's beginning to get cold and I'm trying to think, if I have to plan a trip to the dark through the snow, will I have to change my engine oil? Okay, so uh, 5W40 is viscosity. Viscosity means how thick or thin the oil is. Yeah? So there are two ingredients, one is 5W and another is 40. 5W is a winter grade uh, specification and 40 is a summer grade. So we have mixed both the oils, uh, uh, both the grades, and that's why it is called a multi-grade 5W40 oil. Meaning that it can run as smoothly in winter as in summer. There is no problem using this whether you use in Kashmir or in Kanyakumari or in hot deserts of uh, Rajasthan. It will run and give the same performance throughout the country. Well, all this theory sounds like a good idea, but I'm trying to be practical. How do I know when I have to change the engine oil in my car, when my car only tells me when it's too late? 
depends on different OEMs. Uh, some OEMs recommend uh, a 5,000 kilometer uh, drain interval. Some recommend as high as 15,000 uh, kilometer drain interval. That depends on how the engine is made, what kind of oil is inside. Hi, I'm Navdeen, an automobile engineer and enthusiast. My intense association with this industry makes me even more sensitive towards the performance of the car. I look at cars like the objects of desire and passion and thus pampering them just becomes a ritual. But do you know if you're not enthusiastic yourself, pampering your car should be as much a ritual for you. And pampering the car is closely related to understanding its lubricant needs. While changing the oil of your car would cost around what, say a few hundred rupees, a complete engine rebuild would cost you 10 times this cost. But a simple cost benefit analysis and you know exactly what to do. Well, this is what Shell India MD had to say about how Shell Helix was a friend to our engine. No, and we, we in India also specifically that a lot of drive owners are proud of their car. We like to we like to ensure that the car is well maintained. We like to ensure the car is kept clean. We like to ensure that it gets the best protection possible. And Shell Helix uh, with us uh, with our formulations, for example, Shell Helix Alter, we believe that it, it reduces the, uh, the the dirt by about five times, protects three times better, and reduces wear and tear by about two times compared to other mineral oils. Well, maybe that is why they say. Proud drivers, choose Shelly. Goodbye.